Now, that's why that pedal exists. Yeah. Because... Clang Machine. The Clang Machine, Chris. Hello, I'm Andy Ferris. Hello, and I'm Chris from and Jupiter Fix. And we're at 42 Gear Street. We've got five minutes to make a marvelous video. Oh my god. Pressure. Okay, Clang Machine. Yes. Right. Done. What's Next pedal. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does it do? What is it doing? How is it doing it? How much does it cost? Why did you build it? Um, 179. It's the mayonnaise and um, it's like compression, EQ, whatever to make your guitar more ring out in the band to have it more clang when you play like cool stuff. Okay. I can afford an aluminium guitar so you can simulate it. <laughs> right, so you want more, more clarity, not clarity, but more clang. Yeah, more, more top end, more brightness, more presence. Brilliance. Brilliance. Uh, uh, um, a country player would say glassiness. A country player would. A country player would. Country player would. Country player's choice. Okay, I've noticed that you've put it into the Warlow, which yeah. you told me earlier is not the Warlow that I, I played in the video that I made. Yeah. It's a different one. Yeah. Go different on, filter. What's different? The filters. <laughs> was the stock wallow. And now we have... It's a rat filter. Rat filter? What was it, bef what was it before? The Big Muff filter. Okay, right, yeah. so now I'm back on track. It was a Big Muff filter. I love the Big Muff. I love the rat. Yeah. Now, you, so the, the rat filter is quite famous for being quite aggressive, right? It's. The red filter is basically just a tone, a tone pot on your guitar. Mm -hmm. It's just rolls of highs. And the Big Muff filter is like um, rolling of highs and rolling of bass against each other. So you yeah. have like something you will ever, ever lose. And with the, Big Muff, uh, with the red filter, you have still bass at mids. Okay. And there's a third option. Third option? Yeah, both. There, you did something right there. That was awesome. Yeah. What was that? The low cut. Now, that's why that pedal exists. Yeah. Because that sounded cool. I liked it, but I was still missing some. Sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited because I, because I wanted to be excited because you're my friend, but also yeah. I want to be authentic. And I thought it was it was getting too fluffy, too blue, 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 too yeah. woolly. Yeah. And then you did that, yeah. and that's the thing that I wanted it all to sound like. Yeah. Let's do it again. shelf boost like uh -huh. where, where you boost the highs where, where is the clanginess okay go I dig that yeah whatever that is it's a filtery kind of Yeah, it reminds me of kind of Graham Coxon. Yeah. And this kind of rattiness yeah. that you get this lo-fi-ish, lo but fuzzy and certainly massive. But not with more gain. It's just like clang. It's Steve Albini on a pedal. Yes! Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed me freaking out halfway through that. And um, thank you to the people here at 42 Gear Street for making wonderful videos with us. Thank you to you, Chris, for joining me. Uh, if you want more content, hashtag 42GSFOW. F O. Hang on. C Y K. That's the one. Thanks. Yeah. It'll be on the screen. I yeah. will see you in one of those other videos. Take care of yourselves and um, go buy some Jupiter Effects pedals, of course. Spend that hard earned cash on this man. San Francisco. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>